you probably can't see it. Let's see if we can fix it. Hello, everybody. Um, so I start my new job in a couple of weeks and we do, um, I don't know why my camera won't stay up. Stay, stay. Um, we aren't organized here at all. My husband and I will both be working from home, but our schedules will be, um, for the first four weeks, they'll be basically the same schedule, but we have Riker to worry about and how he gets to and from school and all of that stuff. And so I'm going to create a giant um, calendar wall using a whiteboard and paint and um, decals that will go on the top. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going to paint this wall this color. Um, it is from Home Depot and I have no idea what color this is. It gives me numbers. There's no name. So it's from Home Depot and it's like a purpley grayish color. Um, it goes with this orange color quite nicely. I just painted this whole other area orange. Um, this is a wall in our hallway. Um, so across from this wall is our dining table peninsula thing and the kitchen and then my husband's workspace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape out the area that I'm going to paint um, that will, I will put the de the um, whiteboard things on afterwards. Um, I've ordered the whiteboard stuff. I'm waiting to go pick it up. And yeah, basically that's how it's working out. <laughs> I just got back from um, picking up my contact paper and I just picked it up from Michael's. You can order it on Amazon or um, I'm not sure if Home Depot in Canada has the dry erase one, but I just picked it up from Michael's, $13.99 per roll. Uh, it's 18 inches wide and then six feet long. I figured out that I needed about 196 square feet um, to do what I wanna do. So I picked up two rolls. This is the actual brand contact for contact paper. Um, we'll see how it works. The reviews were pretty good. I don't know. We'll just see how it works. Um, contact paper for the whiteboard can be hit or miss because sometimes it doesn't erase well. Um, I also, I have a Cricut and what I was planning on doing was doing the lettering for the days of the week. So Sunday to Saturday across the top. And I actually didn't have any vinyl. So I just picked up a permanent smart vinyl. I did permanent because that way it maybe won't peel off the wall as quickly. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't peel off the wall as quickly. And I did it in a glittery black. Um, I also grabbed, because I'm not, I don't have anything that's whiteboard in my apartment right now. I grabbed some Crayola Take Note Dry Erase Markers from the dollar store. And I grabbed some permanent markers for the numbers of the, of the, like the numbers of the month or the days of the, the numbers of the month every day. Um, I, what I've heard is that if you put permanent marker on there, it does come off. Just, you have to wash it with a, um, the erase, the, what are they called? The Mr. Clean dry erase markers or the, the brush, the brush, the sponge brain fart um and it will come off or it will come off if you put dry erase marker over top of it so this is currently my calendar situation um i'm just waiting for it to dry i think i have to do a couple more brush strokes like down here there's a couple like you can see through it a little bit i'm not sure that that really matters because i am basically covering it with white paper um this was just to have as a little background um, I was really worried about painting this wall any color because this wall, as I said earlier, is directly across from our peninsula. So I'll show you what I'm working with. So this goes down the hallway to the two bedrooms and the bathroom. This wall is going to be 
where the calendar is. This is our peninsula in our kitchen. I painted this this morning, this orange color, and then I have this orange color um, for a lot of other places in my apartment. Um, but I, I was really worried that this color wouldn't work, but because they're not directly related, I think it's fine. Um, I also have this pink color here in the apartment that, um, this is probably a better, it's like a pinky purple mauve color. Um, now they look pretty good as long as they're not together, I think, this pink and this, the orange color. Um, also guys, I'm loving this color on my front door. I think it just makes it so much better. While the paint dries, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out my squares for um, the days of the week. So I figured I needed about doing them. Um, oh, this tape is difficult to find to get off. I'm going to do them seven inches by seven inches and I need about four rows of them. So I'm just gonna mark them off. Actually, I'm just gonna use my pen here. I'm gonna lay it out, open her up, lay it out. Oh, it's even marked off already. Okay, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I don't think that this is gonna cut very good because it's too big. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it with scissors first, I think. And it's not exactly measured properly because this doesn't start as one inch. Okay. So I should be able to get almost enough from one contact paper roll, hopefully. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut off, so it doesn't start at one. I wanna start at one inch. Um, so starting at one inch, I'm just gonna cut off this inch marker here. So then I know when I'm cutting it down, I'm starting at one inch and it doesn't screw up my numbers. Okay, and then I'm going to go in by, I'm gonna switch this one. I'm gonna do this one down here, and I'm gonna do this one up here. My one inch marker there. So I wanna go in by seven inches. So these are 18 inches. So I'm gonna mark it off at 14, seven. Well, I could do, you know what? If I did, no, I don't, I don't have enough space. So I have to do seven inches and 14 inches. So I'm gonna mark that off. And then I'm gonna come down to the seven inch mark, which is here. And I'm gonna mark off the seven and the 14 again. I don't know if this gets easier because the roll is super um, old, I don't know. So 14 inches and seven inches. And that should be the seven inch square and then a seven inch square, okay. Now, I'm actually gonna draw, just draw the line because then I know where I'm cutting. I was gonna cut with my cutter thing that I have here, but I think it's too wide for this thing. Just line it up and cut. Now you can do whatever size you want for these squares. Um, I'm doing this size because my wall is a little tiny and I want them to have two inches in between each square. Now I can go through and I can cut along the seven inch line here. I think what I'll do is I'll just mark them this way and then cut them out after. So that's one sheet.
I am putting up the squares. So I've measured out this whole thing this way is 48 inches and then this way it's 60, I believe, um, or 65 inches. So I've measured out to go in two inches and down eight inches because this is where my S is gonna start for Sunday and then my letters are gonna go above. And then this will have an inch in between um, or two inches, I guess, in between each thing. So that's what the way I'm, that's how I'm doing it right now. I don't know if that's the way it's gonna work. I have no idea. These things are seven by seven. Um, one inch.